ladies, welcome back to another program for Commit to Fit. Um, we're going to get right into it. So each program consists of three workouts, an upper, a lower, and a core and cardio. So we are starting with lower body today. We'll have five to six stations, five to six exercises that we're going to run through consecutively as quickly as possible with the least amount of rest between stations. Obviously, if you need to rest, take a moment. But the whole idea is to continually flow through them without stopping, and then you can rest uh, one to two minutes between the rounds. We're doing a total of three rounds. So uh, starting at station number one, we're going to do Bulgarian lunges with the Smith machine. So we will be using it. Um, so come over here, and I will show you the setup for this. So ideally with Bulgarian lunges, one foot comes up, one foot comes down, and you go straight down. We're adding a little bit to this one, so we're going to uh, use some weight as we come down. Smith machine is really good because it's going to help us keep in line um, going straight up and down. And adding a little bit more to our legs. So we're going to get positioned in here to start with. When you get under here, you're going to flip uh, this back so you can take your pegs um, your, off the pegs. And so when you come down each time, they're not going to catch. So then we're going to get positioned for our Bulgarian lunge. Your foot is going to be either flat or here, close to the edge of the bench or whatever you're using. We are using a bench here. So basically, setting yourself up and then coming down. Straight down. So again, make sure that the bar is on the meaty part of your uh, shoulders, not your neck. When you're coming down, you're going to start with a nice tight core. Coming down, you're driving through that heel on the way up and you're squeezing your glutes uh, at the top of that movement. So down, heel, up. So really drive through that heel to uh, utilize those legs. So that's all for that one. You're going to switch and do the opposite side as well. So coming down, driving through that heel, straight down, driving through that heel and squeezing at the top of the movement. When you're done, twist these back onto the peg and come up from the machine. So you're doing 12 on each leg for that one. Again, make sure your core is tight. Try this without weight to start, and then you can add your weight when you're comfortable with the movement. So going to number two, you're going over to the leg press machine. Just going to sit in here. We have some red lines on this machine, which is your guards. When you're coming to set this back down, you're going to line up those red lines. That's going to set it up so it can hook. Once they're lined up, you can bring this plate back. So in order to get this off, so again, red lines, push up, unlock, line, lock. Okay, so here you want to have your foot not down at the bottom of the plate, but at the top of the plate. Your comfort where your footing is placed is totally, some people like to point out a little bit, some people like to uh, be totally vertical. Um, for me, it's about getting comfortable. I like mine angled a little bit, uh, so I can bring my legs on the either side of me and get a full range of motion and really force my, uh, my quads and my hands to kick in to push that weight up. So again, lifting the weight, taking my guards off, coming down as far as you can, full range of motion. Don't lock out your knees at the top, but you really want to utilize those feet to push up that weight. Go down, go as far back as you can, and push up. Press all the way into this one. Full range of motion. And back up. Again, this is here. You can lay back. And you can actually 
actually hold on to these if you'd like. Um, and when you're ready, again, when you've done your 12, line up those red lines and then set your plate down. You're locked in now. You can get up and out of the machine. So please make sure if you're not comfortable, you're not using this alone, please make sure somebody's with you if you need the extra help. Um, so now we're doing 12 of those, moving over to station number three, surrenders. This one, we're going to go into our surrender, back up into a squat, back down. So let's start in the squat position. You can start on your knees or in the squat position, doesn't matter, we're doing a total of 10. So coming down, onto the knee, back up. Stop in the squat. Down, onto the knee, back up. You can alternate each time your lead leg. That's all there is to this one. You're just keeping the load on. Nice tight core, of course, and stopping when you get back up into that squat. So a total for 10 on this one. That's all there is. And then station number four is going to be our one-legged bridge with a three-count pulse. So this one you will do on both sides. So come to the edge of your mat. I want your foot nice and close to your, the bottom of your glutes. You're going to bring one leg up. Hands can remain down at your side. One, two, three, down. Up in the bridge. One, two, three, down. Up in the bridge. Pulse. One, two, three, down. Up in the bridge. One, two, three, down. 12 on one leg. Switch it over. Up in the bridge. Pulse. One, two, three, down. Bridge. Pulse. Two, One, two, three, down. So make sure you get that full bridge first and then add the pulse. One, two, three, down. Feet make sure they're nice and close to your glutes so you can get that nice bridge. You can engage those hamstrings because that's basically what we're working here is our hamstrings and our glutes. So again, 12 on each leg, and then moving on to station number five. So over here, we're doing station number five. So we're going with an elevated squat, and then a forward deadlift. So here you can use one weight, you can use a kettlebell, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna hold it end to end, and basically keeping the arms straight, down, up, forward, hinge, up, down, squeeze, forward, hinge to a flat back, up, down, squeeze, forward, hinge to a flat back, up, down, squeeze. So each time you're going into that squat, nice tight core, shoulders back, sitting back into that chair, letting your arms fall forward, driving through the heels, squeezing those glutes at the top, forward hinge forward, keeping the legs as straight as possible, allowing the arms to be pulled down by the weight, down to flat back, using the legs to pull you back up not your body, but your legs. So down, squeeze, squeeze, down, squeeze. Okay, so this one's very important to make sure you're using a weight that's going to be heavy enough. So this is 20 pounds. I could definitely go up to maybe 30 or 40 pounds for myself if I'm going to do it where I'm going to really utilize my legs. So that's it, that's a two part one. So that one we're doing 10 sets. 
And then station number six, we're going to use a kettlebell. This is a timed one, so we're at 30 seconds. You're going to get into the wall sit, holding your kettlebell, sitting down, start your timer, and you wait. Nice, make sure you're in a seated position, make sure your knees are in line with your ankles, so you don't want to have them forward, and you want to slide your back against the wall, and we wait. That's all there is to this one. Adding the weight is going to help a little bit, putting a little bit extra load on those legs. So at the end, drop your weight, pop yourself up. So again, set your timer, start it, it will beep when it's off, and that's it. So we've done stations one to six, uh, that is it. You will do this for a total of three rounds, and uh, I hope you enjoy your first workout from this uh, program. Bye!